and I'm here with the shiny, sexy new Xbox One X. Microsoft just sent this in for review. It's not actually available in UK stores until November the 7th, um, but we're gonna get it fully reviewed uh, for that launch date, basically. And we're gonna do a quick unboxing now just to check out exactly what you get inside of the box and what you can expect when this bad boy turns up at your door. A super powered console, it's definitely right up there in terms of the processing power, beats the likes of the PS4 Pro. You get full 4K gaming now, which is the main thing. Of course, the One S was capable of streaming 4K video, uh, but now you can actually game in 4K, uh, Ultra HD, plus really, really crisp, ultra realistic uh, visuals. And of course, it's fully HDR compatible as well, HDR 10. So let's just slide the console on out. Here we go. There is the Xbox One X in all of its glory. Um, and you also, of course, get various uh, extras. Let's just have a quick look in here. So naturally a power cable. Can't really do much of it uh, without that, of course. Uh, if you look in this side, you of course get the controller. Um, and as far as I'm aware, it's the same controller as the One S's. Nothing has changed in that respect. Let's just peel it on out. There we go. So yeah, it's got Xbox controller. Lovely stuff. Uh, pop that aside. Uh, something else in here it is batteries. Hooray. Uh, so let's just pull those on out. And as you can see, two A batteries to power the controller. Um, non polivent or not for retail sale, obviously. Uh, so that's all good. Uh, and you also have a bit of HDMI cable action so you can plug it into your telly and actually see what you're doing. Lovely stuff and a bit of warranty effort as well. And uh, as you can see here, uh, also included in there, you get a bit of uh, Xbox Game Pass and a bit of Xbox Live Gold. So let's see what we get on offer here. So Xbox Game Pass, uh, over 100 great games, endless play, redeem the code below for one month free. So that's free access to a massive range of games, uh, which is great stuff. Um, so you can check out those. And you also, of course, get a bit of Xbox Live Gold action as well. Um, so this gives you 14 days free. Uh, you do unfortunately have to pay if you want to play online uh, using the Xbox Live network. Um, but at least this gives you a chance to check it out and get your ass whooped by a bunch of 14 year olds who've got nothing better to do than play the same game over and over all day long. Hooray! Not that I'm bitter about that or anything. And of course, a quick startup guide to show you exactly how to plug the thing in, which is always handy. Uh, so we'll check out all the ports and all the rest of it as well. So that's what you get in terms of the extra stuff. Nice and streamlined. And then here is the actual console itself. So there you go anyway, and for my rambling, there is the Xbox One X. Lovely looking device indeed. Very sleek, um, very minimalist, of course. It's just basically a nice black box. Um, what more do you expect? A nice bit of the Xbox logo brand in there. You, of course, get a uh, USB uh, port up front, which is always handy for quickly plugging in your controller and such forth. The power button and everything. A small bit of uh, minimalist again, Xbox brand in up top. Uh, on the sides, nice and clear. And then around back, you get your array of ports. Uh, so obviously power, uh, you get HDI, HDMI out, which is uh, for plugging into your telly. HDMI in if you want to plug in a, uh, for instance, a, a video streamer, a Skybox, something like that. A couple more USB ports, so you get uh, three in total, which is good if you want to connect uh, extra drives, uh, want to plug in controllers, all that sort of thing. Uh, get uh, IR out, you've got your optical, and uh, Ethernet as well, so you can uh, do a bit of wired connectivity as well as, of course, full Wi Fi support. So that is the Xbox One X, gorgeous looking device. Um, as I say, it's full uh, 4K Ultra HD gaming, sports HDR10 in terms of the video and the uh, the gaming output as well. Uh, and it's now got a 2.3 gigahertz octa core Jaguar chipset packed inside, which is uh, more powerful than the previous version. Still got eight gigs of RAM, so uh, should be nice and easy for all your games as well. And it's a six teraflop uh, GPU. I think the last one was 4.2 teraflops, there or thereabouts, uh, with 12 gigs of VRAM as well, so super powered and uh, one terabyte uh, hard drive as well, so plenty of space for installing all your games, which is just as well, because uh, <laughs> they take up quite a lot of space these days. So stay tuned for our full review.